how can you import any kind of media in any image animation maker if you are also searching that kind of video you are in the right video i am making a video series on enemies animation maker so if you are also trying to learn enemies animation maker you can check my playlist i am giving you the playlist video link in my video description just you have to check that one so in this video we will discuss how can you import any kind of your media files such as audio such as flash file such as the video files and any kind of media files you can import after watching this video and if you don't know how can you import any kind of media file inside your enemies animation maker then you have to watch this video until the last after watching this video you don't have to watch any video so guys welcome back to in my youtube channel it's me dipesh rai if you are watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get another new videos from my youtube channel so without any late let's begin our tutorial so guys welcome back to in my computer screen so today i'm going to teach you how can you edit spg image how can you import uh, the audio and how can you import the video and different kind of things i'm going to cover in this video so if you miss my previous video you can check my previous playlist about the enemies animation maker so uh, in that video i have already discussed about the how can you edit the animation inside your text inside your character and inside your shapes also so after this uh, so today we are going to cover from here uh, so uh, how can you edit the SVG images. So for this one, just click in the SVG images. Uh, for this one, you need a, a internet connection. Without internet connection, you cannot use this one. So now you can see here in my left side, there are different kind of categories available. You can use the transportations, character, sports, and public signs. And this time, I'm using the transportation. So uh, just wait for a moment. It's taking a little bit time it depends on your internet connection so in this time i'm just using this one and now you can see here here is a space image which is uh, already available inside your enemies animation maker but to use this one you need a internet connection and you need to create a enemies animation maker uh, free id also so after this you can give the different kind of animation from here right so right now there is a bounce so if I uh, play this one so now you can see here uh, this kind of animation available inside this one the next one is how can we import uh, the images so for this one just click here in the sound and just click in the air sound but for this one we need to uh, um, we can uh, import uh, your local music from your computer so i am just using this one and just clicking in the open so now you can see here it's opening so after this you have to just click in the transcode now so it's transcoding it uh, will take a little bit time uh, so after uh, the completing the transcoding uh, so you have to uh, just you can import that music inside your uh, library so after you just click in the yes uh, now you can see here my uh, audio has been coming here like this right so you can also use this uh, kind of method so but in this time i am just removing this one I right click and delete object okay so this is one of the amazing uh, features which is available inside the enemies animation maker the next one is you can import the video also just click in the video and just click in the eight local video and from here you can import any kind of so if i want to um, use this one just click in the open and now you can see here there is a video also available right so you can also use this one uh, this kind of methods uh, or you can import video in this way inside your enemies animation maker 
and uh, if you know about the SDOFD file, uh, you can import the flash file also. Uh, for this one, just you have to click in the eight local SDOFDF. But for this one, you need a flash file. But I think this time uh, there is already some few flash files available. If I click here, so I think it will come here. And if I increase the size, now you can see it. The flash file is uh, running this one, right? So if I want to drag this one, just uh, drag here and just increase the size. Now you can see here, there is various kind of stock wave, uh, other uh, or, uh, flash file available inside the NES Maker, which will give you different kind of looks to your uh, slides uh, or animation. The next one is uh, just wait for a moment symbols so from the symbol you can use different kind of symbol if uh, so in this time I'm just just using the spider symbol inside my enemies enemies maker from here you can change the fill color also so which means which is one of the good things right so you can use various kind of symbols inside your enemies enemies maker and you can use different kind of actors also so from the character also you can use and but these are the flash actor right so now you can see here there is a three types of actor available uh flash actor png actor and the uh, gif actor but this time i'm just doing flash actor so i am removing the symbol so if i want to use this one uh, so i'm just dragging this one here so now you can see here uh, this kind of actor it's giving you different kind of the animation and this is one of the useful thing right so you can use different kind of actor inside your enemy uh, so it's automatically playing this is the same like the flash file or a stuff wave file and you can use the different kind of charts also or if you want to use uh, this kind of chart now you can see here the there is a different kind of charts available so you can use any of them okay and from here i think you can change the different kind of colors also and i think from here you can use different kind of colors okay so if you want to add any kind of elements inside your enemies animation maker uh, then in that case you can use various kind of options you can use spg you can use audio video flash file symbols and different kind of actors and different kind of the uh, charts also so from here also you can use the formula labels my library and slides so different kind of option available if you want to use the formula also you can use different kind of formula so now you can see here there are different kind of structure available for example if i want to uh, use uh, use this kind of matrix so if i'm just using this one or A, B, or so like this. So if I want to use this kind of uh, formula, so now you can see here uh, A, B, okay. And if I click the OK, now you can see that there is a formula also available. So you can give a different kind of animation to uh, for this one. So which is uh, one of the uh, good things. So there are lots of lots of stuff available inside the enemies uh, so you can create a uh, label also you can give different kind of labels you can give uh, sorry with the my library you can use your images uh, and your musics which you have um, imported before uh, from your local computer and you can uh, use the slides also uh, but, uh, but for this one first of all you have to add some images inside here so there are various uh, things you can import inside enemies animation maker uh, hoping that you get some few idea how can you import any kind of media inside your enemies animation uh, maker hoping that you get some uh, knowledge from this video and you learn how can you import any kind of media files from your uh enemies animation maker so it's too much easy if you have still any kind of confusion let me know in the comment mix uh, comment sections i'll make a separate video on that topic 
and if you get some quality content or if you learn something from this video uh, please give me a like it will give me some motivation to make more extra videos on this youtube channel so i'll come back with another new video until that goodbye see you again